Good day beautiful stars, welcome to my channel. If you are new, hit that like button and the subscribe button, lots of content to gain from my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, hello. So this is, we are right, we are just right on the ball with these mirror talk segments and I'm so excited to be able to share and to be able to help you and you know share these tips and tricks and to come to you and talk to you freely and openly about you know your questions so this question is specifically for those who do intuitive readings deliver intuitive messages read tarot readings read oracle cards that whole nine this video is for you requested by Brandon thank you Brandon for this and his question was um was terror related and it was he asked um can anybody read tarot cards and is there a right way to do it <laughs> it's funny because i just did a live talking about right and wrong um good and bad which seems to be like the topic you know whether things are right and wrong that seems to be the topic everywhere you know everybody wants to do things right it's important to understand that on the journey of self discovery on the journey of spiritual on the topic of spirituality on the journey of spirituality that it is important to understand and to remember that this journey is very personal that your discoveries are very personal so with that being I say that because a lot of people love to tell people you know how the right way to read tarot is or you know you shouldn't be using tarot cards and oracle cards or you know something like that and it gets people discouraged about their calling but it's important to as you the reader you know to be secure in yourself in your craft and in your team Okay, if you're being called to give yes, no responses with tarot cards and not oracle cards, then you do what fits you. Me personally, I even use Yu-Gi-Oh cards to deliver messages. Why? You can say I'm that good. If people don't do it, then you can say that I'm that good. I'm unique that way. I'm gifted in that way. If you feel like I'm bragging, I won't apologize for it. This is important. You need to be secure in what you do you need to be secure in your craft okay if people don't get what you're doing and why you're doing it it's really not your it's really not your job to get them to understand why because if they don't get what you're doing and why you're doing it um then they're not they're not that energy that's for you and it's not and when you try to convince someone about what you're doing how you're doing it and why you're doing it what you're doing is if that's making you question and second guess yourself okay like you don't have to prove anything to anybody your calling is your own calling and it's not going to be the same as anybody else's so that's important to also remember like it's not going to be the same as anybody else's everybody's journey is different everybody's experiences are different everybody's perception is different Okay, now people are like, um, people do say like, oh, my ancestors will this and that and this and that. Maybe for them, but that might not apply to you. If your spirit team is calling you to give yes, no tarot readings or to give tarot readings, yes, no, simple one card pools and, and you're doing it. Yes, then that's fine. That works for, for you. Everybody is different. Everybody practices their craft different. It's important it's very important, I feel, that you developed a, your uniqueness to your craft because your uniqueness, the way you do things, is what sets you apart from all the other tarot readers. Okay, so if you're doing things exactly how the next tarot person is doing it and forgetting to add you, to add your personalness into it, I feel like you will um, not go far in tarot. I feel like if you do end up going far in tarot, just copying and mimicking how this person does it, um, what you will, I guess, soon discover is that um, you will end up just 
gradually finding your own way okay that's what's going to happen like you can do because that's what that's what happened to me so like i said all these mirror talk readings are coming from my experience okay so um yes yeah, so at first with i'll use my website like with my website my website was big it was huge there was just a whole bunch of compartments and sections on it and it wasn't me i was just doing what the next person did because i you know i did need a website and all this other stuff but it, it was it wasn't it was appealing but it wasn't it wasn't me when i looked at the website I didn't recognize my own energy in that. So what I ended up doing was during a meditative session, I pretty much had the thought of redoing it from scratch. And that's what I did. And I am more satisfied. I don't feel uncomfortable with looking at my own website. My website reflects me and my energy. Same thing when I do my tarot readings or my oracle readings or you know any type of intuitive readings facial readings i'm adding my own personality to it i'm adding me to my service because why wouldn't i add me to my service so it's really important not to get discouraged when people try to call you out or when people don't get why you're doing what you're doing that just means those aren't your people and they're not for you so it's really important um not to get discouraged when people question you about, you know, why you're doing it this way or when people try to, you know, humiliate you or call you out. No, that's just reflecting their own insecurity and their own jealousy and their own whatever else they got going on over there and they're trying to put it in your bubble. Exclude them and ignore. Um, because it's important um, to understand that everything does not need a reaction. It doesn't matter what they say. Everything does not need a reaction. When you give a negative reaction to someone reacting negatively to you, you lower your vibration. You allow them at that point to become an energy vampire in your life. So it's very, very important to pay attention to little stuff like that and not get discouraged. That is a very, very good question, Brandon. Um, there is no right or wrong and I will say this to anybody. There is no right or wrong way to do tarot when you are connected to your higher self your higher self is what's guiding you and anyways like tarot is an extension of your energy you are channeling your energy and interpreting the messages that you're getting from your higher self from the higher realms and the cards are just literally helping you to interpret the message but if someone asked me a question and I didn't have tarot and I was able to um, because that's what I'm practicing into you know like you because you can practice and that's how you enhance your, your psychic ability um, first you start off with the cards and then you see what you can do with different other forms of um, divination tools like pendulums or pendulum boards you know stuff like that or you know you, you channel in your actual psyche where you don't need cards you can just read off of someone's energy so, so you know, like cards are an extension of your spiritual gift. You have the gift of sight. You have the gift of empathy. You have the gift of spiritually knowing through the connection that you have with your higher self and with your spirit team. So it doesn't matter if you're using tarot cards or if you're using oracle cards. The message will still be delivered the same. And I even did research um, to... You know figure out what this whole difference is because i mean there was like a literal literally like um this whole debate i saw on you know facebook where this person was like really upset about how this person was doing their tarot readings and it's like i never get that like i i so i won't speak on it because i yeah okay and so what was i saying yeah so it's just important to Oh, yes. Yeah. So I looked up the to try to find the difference between tarot cards and oracle cards. And honestly, if you looked it up, too, you wouldn't be able to find a difference besides in the images and the number of cards. I even took notes. Matter of fact, oracle versus tarot. Both are directive tools. They offer guidance, clarity and new perspective. Okay. 
Oracle cards are free flowing, holds big energy. Okay, now tarot is traditional, common themes. It's more like a story book, story book because uh, tarot tells a story versus oracle cards. Which, like I said, that's that all depends on the person as well. Because I've had um, the experience of just pulling one tarot card and got like a mouthful, a whole mouthful, and I only pulled clarity because, not because I had to, but because my own curiosity. Okay, but I didn't have to like. I flipped over this one card and was just like, and this and this and this and this and this and that. And because I wanted to know more, because I wanted to um, extend my services a little more, I did pluck a couple of cards. But like I said, you can get a full in-depth reading with one tarot card pool. It just all depends on the channeler. Okay, there, like, like I said, there is no real difference. Um, the Oracle cards come in different shapes, sizes, various types, easily accessible, various content. But the new tarot cards that they have coming out now are, are a bit similar. They, you know, So like I said, it all depends on the person. Brandon, this was a very good question. I hope it gave you some insight and a better understanding. And to whoever else had that question, this journey is very personal. So it's very important to add your splash of you in whatever you're doing and it's very important to do what you're doing wholeheartedly openly with love so until the next time thank you for this question if you have any questions all of that information will be in the description box below so enjoy your saturday or whenever day you are deciding to watch this